All right, I finished sanding the dash here with the Dremel tool, and now I put some hot water and soap in the churn. I'm going to agitate that for a few minutes just to further cleanse it. I already washed it before I used the Dremel tool, but I'm going to wash it again since uh, I I did put it on the concrete floor in the shed. So I want my butter to be clean, so I'm going to wash it again. Okay, I finished cleaning my dash here now, and I put about only about a pint, one pint of cream in there, and I'm just going to see how that works out. The only other time I've churned butter is in a mason jar, and that wasn't really churning, it was just shaking it a lot. So this is really my first time churning butter in an actual churn. So this is just the, uh, I'm learning by doing. I really don't know what I'm doing, except what I've read on the internet. Well, it's been 15 minutes since I started churning. I don't think there's much difference in the consistency of it. I've been churning at a steady pace for the past 15 minutes, but I think it's going to take longer. Some people I talked to that used to churn butter, they said it takes at least an hour. But I've read that it takes some people longer than that. I guess it depends on what the rate of your turning is, but hopefully I'll learn that by experience. All right, I'll get back to you in 15 more minutes. I've now been constantly churning for about 30 minutes, and I really haven't noticed that big of a change in the cons consistency of it. Uh, it is starting to get a little bit thicker, but it, it hasn't quite gotten to whipped cream, really. That's what I learned when I was making the butter in the mason jars, that it, it turns from cream to whipped cream, and then it separates into buttermilk and butter. And then you squeeze all the water out of the, or the buttermilk, I guess, out of the butter through cheesecloth. And I'll probably show that later in the video. <clears throat> if I can find some cheesecloth. But yep, yeah, I'm going to continue churning and I'll get back to you at the 45 minute mark. It has now been 45 minutes since I've started churning and I've lost some on the top here. I'm going to try to scrape that back in. Well, if I can get this out, I can show you the consistency. I think it's past the whipped cream stage, but uh, I'm not sure how much longer it'll take but uh, we're gonna find out or I'm gonna find out and then I'm gonna show y'all but yeah it's getting harder to turn I'm trying to turn the turn the dasher you know each time I go up and down like they say to do but we'll see how this goes all right I've been churning for almost an hour now and it is I believe it's starting to separate from the the butter from the buttermilk if you can see that I think that's buttermilk right there I don't know what else it would be so I think I'll keep churning for a few more minutes I ran and got a knife while I go to the butter was coming out the top of the uh, lid there and the hole and it was coming out the sides I guess you can see that uh, so I had to scrape it back in with this knife so it's been almost an hour since I began, and I'm gonna continue for a few more minutes. All right, I believe it is done now. I turned it a few more minutes, and I think that's about the right consistency. Because you can obviously see that the buttermilk separated. Well, I'm going to go find some cheesecloth and hopefully 
did a video of me draining the butter and putting it in a form of some kind. Well, I didn't find any cheesecloth, but I found the next best thing, a dish rag with little holes in it. And I think this will work just as well. Alright, I'm going to pour the buttermilk into this container. And then I'm going to try to squeeze the butter with this dishcloth to get all the water and buttermilk out. It's not much buttermilk since we only churned a pint, but it's some. Okay, I'm going to attempt to do this without making a mess everywhere. I'm just going to try to squeeze all the liquid out of it. Oh, there it comes. I'm not squeezing hard though. I'm, I'm just going to gently squeeze it. If I squeeze it too much, it's going to come through the holes. I'm surprised this is still at a pretty cool temperature considering I churned it for over an hour. Okay, that should be good enough, at least for this demonstration. Okay, I've got some clean water now, and from what I've read and seen on YouTube, you're supposed to wash your butter a couple times in cold or room temperature water. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to try not to drop it into the buttermilk that I just drained it from. And I think I'm supposed to drop it into the water, if I'm not mistaken, and let it sit for a few minutes. So there goes that. Alright, I just put the butter into the water, so I'm going to let that sit for a few minutes and try to keep it under the water. And we'll see what that looks like in about five minutes. The butter has now been in the cold water for five minutes and I'm going to 
drain it again and squeeze the water out if I can get it out of here. See, I might have to. I'm going to try this. I think it's pretty much just butter now. I just, it was just soaking in the water now. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and put it in the form I have here. My makeshift form. And I'm going to press that down so it'll be a small square of butter when I'm done. And then I'm going to put it in the refrigerator.